For this lesson, you need to open the sample file Sales Week Ended 14th of March 2008 8 from your sample files folder. This is the worksheet that you created in earlier lessons. You created it using best practice. Best practice is to only choose colors and fonts from the current themes, color and font set. Let's just recap on what a theme is. A theme consists of a color set, a font set and an effects set. Because we've restricted our choice of fonts and colors to the current theme, it's easy to change the theme. If I click Page Layout Themes and then Themes, the Themes Gallery is displayed. And as I hover over different themes, you can see that the color set changes, causing the colors to change, and the font set changes, causing the fonts to change. I'll return now to the Office theme. If none of the 29 built-in themes suffice, you can create your own. Some clients have a defined corporate style and are extremely particular that colors, fonts and other layout items reinforce their corporate identity. When individuality is important, you need your own custom theme. So in this lesson, we'll create a brand new custom theme. We'll begin by defining a new set of custom theme colors. To do that, I click Page Layout on the ribbon, and in the Themes group, the Colors drop-down. And then customize colors from the bottom of the drop-down. You can see that the theme colors I'm seeing now are the default Office theme colors, because that's the theme that's currently in effect. This worksheet only uses the Accent 1 currently blue theme colour and the Accent 2 theme colour that's currently orange. I'm going to change the Accent 1 theme colour now to purple and I'm going to change the Accent 2 theme colour to green. I'm now going to give my new colour set a name. I'm going to call it TSM Corporate. When you create a custom theme, it's best practice to name the color set and the font set with exactly the same name as the new theme. So we're going to use TSM Corporate not just for the new custom color set, but also for a custom font set. And eventually, the new theme will also be called TSM Corporate. But I'll click Save now, and when I click Save, you'll notice the colors change in the worksheet. I'll click Save now. Next, I'm going to define a custom font set. Now you know that font sets consist of two fonts, one to be used for headers and one to be used for body text. If you look at this worksheet, you can see that a different font is used in cell A1 and in the column headers in row 4 to the font set that's used in the body of the worksheet. So let's now create our own custom font set. To do that I click Page Layout tab on the ribbon and in the Themes group the Fonts drop down. And at the bottom of the Fonts drop down you can see there's a Customize Fonts option. At the moment we're using the Office theme. So the heading font is Calibri Light and the body font is Calibri. I'm now going to change the heading font to one of my favorite sans serif fonts, Arial. So I'll click Arial and the heading font is now set. For the body font, I'm going to use another of my favorite fonts, the Serif Times New Roman font. I click Times New Roman and that's set as the body font. Now I'm going to give my font set a name. And as I said earlier, it's best practice to have exactly the same name for your font set and color set. So the font set can have only one possible name, and that is TSM Corporate. I'll now click Save, and as I do, notice that the title font in cell A1 and in row 4 will change to Arial, and the body of the worksheet will change to 
Times New Roman. I'll click Save Now. Now a theme consists of a colour set, a font set and an effects set. The effects set is a little different to colour sets and font sets because you can't create a custom effects set. You'll need to choose one of the 15 predefined effects sets in Office. Because this worksheet doesn't contain any drawing objects, the effects set that we choose will not affect its appearance. You're going to need to wait until Session 5 before we start to use drawing objects within our worksheets. So for this custom theme, I'll select an effects set at random. So I click Page Layout Themes Effects and I'll choose the Milk Glass effect even though I'm unsure what effect that will have on the worksheet. So I click Milk Glass and the Milk Glass Effects set has now been applied to this worksheet. Now I'm going to save my theme. To do that I click Page Layout on the ribbon and in the Themes group Themes and at the bottom of the Themes gallery notice that there's a Save Current Theme option. I'll click that now and I can now save the current theme as a custom theme. The name of the theme will of course be TSM Corporate, just like the colour set and the font set. I'll click Save and my custom theme is now saved. Now let's look at the incredible power of themes by changing the theme back to the Office theme and then back to the TSM Corporate theme again with just a couple of clicks. So Page Layout Themes, I'll bring up the Themes Gallery and click Office to change back to the Office theme. And now I'll bring up the Themes Gallery again and you can see your new TSM Corporate custom theme at the top of the gallery. I'll click TSM Corporate now to apply my TSM Corporate theme. Let's now see which colour sets in effect. So Page Layout Themes Colours and you can see it's my TSM Corporate colour set. And let's see which font set is in effect. And you can see it's the TSM Corporate font set, consisting of the Arial title font and the Times New Roman body text font. Well, I think I'll change back to the Office theme again now, because it's probably a little bit more attractive than our new custom theme. So I'll click Themes again, and in the Themes gallery, Office to put everything back to normal. There's no need to save this workbook because we haven't changed it in any way. And you've now completed Lesson 412. Create your own custom theme.